Uh, well, hey there, internet YouTube and people things. Uh, this is Anime Edition 00, and wow, was this delayed? Like, wow. Uh, so, um, I, pl I plan to do a video a lot sooner. So many of them I had planned, but then things got crazy around here. Then I actually got sick, and I didn't want to, you know, try talking when I sound like blech and, you know, sicky. And then things just, you know, things truthfully aren't very good in, in real life over here for circumstances are just difficult. So, if anything, I want to try giving you guys a quick video just to give you an update. Like, you know, I am not dead, kind of, sort of, I guess. Or I got lost in, like, limbo while in my um, real life annoyances and whatnot. Um, so, as you could probably tell from just um, I'm scrolling around randomly on the title screen, I am trying a game called Super Crate Box. Um, I wanted to try more Steam game re games recently, and though Super Crate Box has been um, released for a while now, because I remember seeing my friend Tim and a couple of other people play the game before it was on Steam, which it is now on Steam for the price of free, so it's like, hey, why not? So basically it's like one of those old arcade games where the gameplay is simple but challenging. Um, and as you go you unlock more characters. These are the only levels you get as far as I know. Actually I'm pretty sure these are the only levels you get. And if you unlock a certain amount of crates, you get the really hard mode. But I guess I'll show you just basics right now, just so it makes sense. So yeah, this is what it pretty much looks like. You kill enemies with the weapons you find in crates, but you don't get the score from killing mo the monsters or little alien things. You get the score by finding the crates with, uh, with the assortment of weapons in it, which are all very drastically different, like the spazzy gun with the shaking of the camera. Oh my god, my head. <laughs> and sometimes it's actually really difficult to adapt to the weapons. Oh god, that was close. To adapt to the weapons while these enemies just keep on coming. So, you know, practice might make perfect, but then again, with a certain weapon, I don't think anyone likes it. When the weapon just comes up, it comes up as like an apology. Because <laughs> they're like, we're sorry, or something. Um, so, I've been playing for a while now. Um, my scores still aren't really that impressive, and I believe if you go to the website, supergreatcratebox.com, you can download it there as well as, you know, freeware. Um, cause as, it kinda sucks, even though it is on Steam, but it doesn't have any achievements of any kind. You know, I'm not really much for achievements, cause, you know, I'm not really that good to obtain them in the first place, but, um, it's just that, it would be fun if I could get a couple of them, like, maybe if you unlock the harder mode, SMT mode or something, whatever they call it. Um, but yeah, usually when you can get up to 40 crates... Ah, that's the weapon everyone hates! If you... Oh, shoot! The disc gun... Yeah, pretty much everyone hates it because it can hurt you too. If you're not careful, crap. <laughs> and yes, as you can tell, you can only get one life, so you get hit once you die. Um... So... I, can I wish I could remember how many weapons there were exactly, but it's kind of hard to count them when I'm going through all the craziness. Um, there are a fair amount of weapons, I would say at least, uh, ten? Or s close to that number? Crap. Uh, but yeah, back to the website thing. Um, you can see some people's high scores there. I don't know how they upload them, but maybe you sign up just to put their high scores and some of them are ridiculous. I don't know if they cheat or <laughs> they're just ridiculous. The highest score I have ever gotten so far is uh, 62 on this specific one. This specific stage right here. Uh, <laughs> having issues focusing with these freaking floaties after me. Floaty skulls, blah. Oh crud. But, to, to me, there are um, weapons that are easier to use than others. But maybe it just depends, you know, on the person and their gameplay style. Or, you know, maybe just gets lucky. 
Because sometimes... Oh, shoot. Because sometimes it does feel like it's a small factor of luck. Um, with being able to handle it as long as some people can or as long as I'm able to. Because sometimes I'll get the good one, like the bazooka with the... Um, like area of effect explosion area to get multiples at once but it's reloading time is slow the flamethrower is alright but if you step in the flames you'll hop around all spazzy and it's kind of difficult to jump which reminds me the controls dirt that's kind of like that should kind of come first blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but yeah um you use x to jump or no wait z to jump blah sorry and then x to fire your weapon whatever it is but you can also use um, the up arrow key to jump, which I've been using, which is probably why I forgot. <laughs> um, but I still use X to fire. I don't know if any other was. I don't know if any other uh, button combination that would fire it. Dang, disc gonna hate you. Get rid of it as soon as possible. Well, actually, sometimes it is helpful, but like probably in the SMT mode, it recommends you play it with no one else around because I guess you'll be raging. Um, the machine gun is pretty easy to handle. There's just a small bit of knockback that you can see from just standing here. But with all the rapid fire, it's pretty easy to take down enemies. Dual pistols, I have to keep clicking really fast to do it. And it's pretty weak. It's pre pretty much as weak as the default gun you get when you first start out. But it just goes in two different directions. Holy crap, a lot of them are coming out now. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just go through a level and like barely any of them will show up at all. So that's what I mean. Sometimes I think you have to get lucky to survive. Except in the SMT mode. <laughs> Too many enemies with that one. And God, I'm getting big ones. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> that's what I think when I get the flamethrower. That is what I think. Darn it! And the grenade launcher is kind of like the bazooka, except. It doesn't have a straight line. The grenade bounces around some, so it's difficult to aim, but the reload time is a bit quicker. And the minigun is extremely spazzy and super fast knockback and shakes the screen makes you have a migraine. But I found that you can control whether you get knocked back in the air or not if you just hold the opposite uh, direction you're facing to keep yourself in the air. Like, look, I'm facing... Or no, actually, I'm facing the same direction. Well, either way, if you just face a certain direction while you're in the air while shooting it, it will prevent from keeping you getting knocked back in the air and, like, <clears throat> knock you into a different enemy, because I have done that. I have knocked myself into an enemy and killed myself. So yeah, many deaths come from this. And the katana, this one, I'm trying to talk about the weapons. Oops! Crap, I was doing good! <laughs> uh, well, I, what, I did have it. Um, the laser rifle, I can kill things while it's warming up. And the shot can usually one-hit kill things, too. So it's a pretty good one. Um, the revolver is a really easy we weapon. It has a pretty big, huge bullet that comes out of it. It can insta-kill all the tiny ones and two-hit kill the big guys. And the shotgun can sometimes one-hit kill if you get it into the main spray. And you can't shoot again until a little bullet um, pops out. Oops. Well, that's a pretty good one with the. Holy crap, so many! <laughs> ah, I just walked right into that one. Oops. Uh, but yeah, this, uh. This character right here isn't one of the normal ones, this little robot. I. That, that really sucks! <laughs> um, so let me see if I can get some other stages here at least. But yeah, as you go, you unlock more characters. What This one I'm playing right now is one of the basics. Um, but as you play, you unlock the harder stages and you unlock, like, the cro uh, crocodile or- Dang, I'm sucking! Or this character right here, the robot, which I think is absolutely adorable for some reason. It's little spindly stick legs. Oops! <laughs> so yes, the fire will kill you in case you couldn't- You didn't, you know, you were wondering, didn't know, blah blah, I can't think. Yeah, this- I hate this level <laughs> so much. It's- the platforms are pretty high, so it's kind of hard to jump and shoot around and make sure I don't die. <laughs> Ugh, and I hate these things. I think the longer you leave these floaty things alone, the more aggressive they get in chasing after you after a while. But yeah, you've probably noticed a couple times 
but or you know it's right now. Um, if you let them go into the fire, it makes these guys angry, and they'll go really fast, and it'll get just nuts if you crap if you leave too many of them alone. And you know if you do leave it alone, and there are all these red monsters um, running all over the place, it does get really nuts. Uh, let's see. You know what I find funny though is that even though the, the fire at the fire pits at the bottom make them angry and they go all crazy, how come I can kill them with the flamethrower? Do they need like artificial fire to kill them or something? Well, not artificial fire, but like I don't know. They do. Oh crap! Ah, crap again. <laughs> but yeah, you can just see right here that I'll get really nuts in a hurry, especially if those big ones um go into the fire because they shake the stage with how fast they're they're falling down all over the place. Um, so, so, oops, so since I unlocked it, I guess I'll show you the crazy mode, I'm not gonna last more than two seconds. Oh, and here's the other character I find is extremely cute. So yeah, here, here's all the enemies that are coming out already, and here's the basic gun, and I'm stuck down here. Crap. Oh, God. This is like, ah, oh, I'm not gonna get a single crate on this run. Crap. Yeah, no crates. <laughs> that sucks. Really bad. So yeah, this is the hard mode with too many alien, spindly, leggy things. Whatever they are. Ah, the, like, the katana is good if you can aim it properly, and it'll make the big ones that get killed in two hits go the opposite direction. Oh, and that landed on top of my head. But yeah, this is <laughs> a lot of- Oh! Yeah, so I think I blew, blew myself up. <laughs> I somehow got best uh, 10 score on here. That was terrible. <laughs> Ugh. So you could tell how many times I must have played this to even get anywhere. If you look on the site, though, their high scores are really ridiculous, but I think I mentioned that already. Um, yeah, supercratebox.com is also apparently available on the iOS, whatever that means. Which I guess is like a phone operating system on certain phones. Oops. Um, I'm not too sure. Like, which specific ones, if it's like iPhone or tablets, but I can't imagine how that you'd play this craziness on a phone. It just, that's, that might be just me. This might be where the only time this gun is useful, like said, in an easy stage like this. Oh crap! Sorry, I'm kind of I'm trying to think of things to talk about, and like, I think I actually beat my high score just by one crate at the moment. Oops. The, the noises are a tad bit obnoxious, but probably because I'm not letting go of the fire button. I can't afford to! Crap! <laughs> hey, well, I got... Oh my god. There's apparently a new mode called Ambush if you get up to 20 crates, which I don't think I'll be able to do. So, in any case, I think that's about the basics. The gameplay is pretty simple with Super Crate Box, but it's addicting, and I haven't gotten upset despite how many times I have died. Um, so that's a good thing, because it's not really frustrating. Unless you get easily frustrated. I usually do, which is why I'm surprised. Uh, but in any case, um, I think it says scores won't upload here, so that might have to do with Steam, and maybe if you download it off the main site, it'll give you the scoreboards look, but you can just take a look by going to the website supercratebox.com, download it there, or download it on Steam. I th I'm pretty sure they're free either way. Um, so I guess see how many crates you can get and find all these explosive weapons and go kill a bunch of stuff. So go find those crates, <laughs> and hopefully I'll be able to do some kind of videos at some point, but no promises because things are still kind of difficult. So sorry about that, I just wanted to do a quick update. So anyway guys, bye.